Breaking, Hillary issues nasty Trump message, it's sick. Hillary Clinton seems to have no problem taking advantage of a situation if she thinks it will benefit her. She seems to ignore all of the facts except for the ones that she wants to hear. After the news that special counsel Robert Mueller had decided to indict Paul Manafort and his partner Richard Gates, Clinton chose to speak out as she continued her seemingly never-ending book tour. According to The Washington Times, Clinton told CBS News, We know everything we need to know. She continued, We just have to make sure that members of Congress do their jobs and hold the president accountable. It is interesting that she thinks that we know everything we need to know, because, coincidentally, it suits her ends. Just consider the meaning of her statement. Clinton thinks that because Manafort and Gates were indicted on something that occurred before Manafort worked with President Trump that the president should be held accountable. The big question is this. What does he need to be held accountable for? Both Manafort and Gates were indicted on charges including conspiracy to launder money, being unregistered agents of a foreign principal, making false and misleading, Foreign Agents Registration Act, statements, making false statements to federal agents, and seven counts of failure to file reports of foreign bank and financial account. All of these charges are financially based in one way or another, and they have to do with the two earning money for themselves. This had no involvement with President Trump. Furthermore, President Trump's name was not once mentioned in the indictment. On that same note, the original special counsel was tasked with exploring facts surrounding alleged Trump-Russia collusion. To date, there is no evidence of any such collusion or illegal activity. It seems as if Hillary Clinton wants President Trump to be held accountable for something in which he has no involvement. At the same time, she has denied the fact that, while Secretary of State, she worked with the Russians to secure the Uranium One deal for Russian interests. The deal transferred control of 20 percent of America's uranium supply to a Russian state-owned company. At the time of the Uranium One deal, there was money pouring into the Clinton Foundation from none other than the Russians. All the while, Hillary's husband, former President Bill Clinton, was paid $500,000 for a 20-minute speech to a Russian bank. Based on this information, it seems as if only one of the presidential candidates from the 2016 election colluded with Russian operatives. Hillary Clinton is not only the one who was directly involved with Russian operatives, but her party has actively pushed this Russian collusion scandal from the beginning. It is about time that Hillary Clinton is held accountable for her actions. One doesn't get to infer that the president should be impeached because of a campaign worker's past misdeeds prior to even working on the campaign. President Trump has the power to call for a special counsel to examine Hillary Clinton's actions for crimes of collusion. If this is done, the real facts could very well be revealed. The American people might learn what happened before, during, and after the election and why Clinton seems to be deflecting away from herself with such intensity.